are imputing a data set on a pie chart, buy chart, line chart, colon chart, or any kind of chart. This content is produced by Special Learning Needs Consultant, www.slnconline.com.ng. Making learning and technology easy, accessible, affordable, and available for everyone. Click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channels for more tutorials. Let's go learning. Olufemi Esibayo, this is my name from Shell Learning Needs Consultants in Nigeria. Where we make learning and technology easy, accessible, affordable, and available for everyone, especially those with visual impairment. There are some few things you need to have in mind uh, if you have uh, dealt with charts before. Like pie charts, it will help you, even visually looking at it, you can state that this uh, is the largest part of your data maybe with this item as the larger portion of the uh, total sum of what you have in your, your sheet share you get and then uh, something like a line and chart that shows a relationship but more about chart is in my book if you care to know and you want to improve your knowledge about microsoft office excel so you can request for my book titled work it out mm -hmm. now today as i've said earlier i will show you how to impute chart into this data this is the population of nigeria states as of 2005 that was the last time we did census in this country so it's very simple what you have to do is that you only need to highlight your data set as I have here. You know, I have states, states A1, which is my A1, and the data span from A1 to cell B38, where we have Abuja. Uh, let me verify that. Uh, yeah, let me go down. States A1. Abuja A38. You can see that this is 1,405,201 B38. This is B38. I will highlight from this point to the beginning using my control plus shift plus home. You know, I've taught you in the past how to do oh, different states through B3. How to do different highlighting or what you call selection okay. using your uh, Excel. So I will go to my menu. That's inside tab. That's where you input your chart. You press Alt plus letter N. And insert tab. Selected Alt uh -huh. N. Insert tab. Then tables grouping. You keep pressing your tab key until you see chart. Charts grouping. Recommended charts button want us to recommend a good chart to showcase your data. Select then, data in your, your worksheet to click this button to get a customized set of charts that we think will fit best with your data. Alt N R. Then you press uh, tab key until you see pie charts. Insert column chart or drop down button grid sub menu. Use this chart type to visually compare values across a few categories. Click the arrow to see the different. Insert line chart drop down button. Insert pie or donut chart drop down button. Grid sub menu. Use this chart then, type to show proportions of a whole. Use. I haven't gotten to pie chart. Then you use the enter key to activate the pie chart sub menu. Pressed. Insert pie or donut chart list. 2D pie grouping. So, but this may give you different sets of pie charts. We have the 2D, we have the 3D, and so on. But I will press my enter key again because I just need just this particular one. Enter. 
the pie chart is inserted into the worksheet. Even on the chart, you can see the different color used and is even stated in the chart that it will span from Kano down to Bayesa. Even though it wasn't uh, that way, but uh, it uh, helps me to be able or to show the greatest and the lowest. And on the main data, you see Abuja is the last, but on the chart, it now helps me to rearrange it, putting Bayesa at the base to show that Bayesa is the least, while Kano is at the apex. So, it's as simple as that. Pie chart, pie chart, any form of chart is very easy. First thing you have to do is to decide what data do you have and what type of chart best explain your data to your audience or to your superior. Shall you get that? So, thanks for watching. God bless you. Join me in another video and never forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not done so. God bless you. Bye. This content was put together by Special Learning Needs Consultants, making learning and technology easy, accessible, affordable, and available for everyone. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, connect with us on LinkedIn, and follow us on Twitter. Don't forget to visit our website for accessible materials, information, articles, and other helpful resources on www.slncaonline.com.ng.